To dig a little deeper into the California wildfires, joining me now is fire ecologist at Audubon Canyon Ranch, Sasha Broman. Thank you so much for joining me, Sasha. I want to jump into if you can explain to us how these fires were able to spread so fast in such a short amount of time. Yeah, so basically what we have here is over 100 years of accumulated fuels from not enough active land management. We haven't been doing controlled burns on a regular basis. We haven't been doing mechanical treatments to take out the extra fuel. And this is a fire adapted landscape. So all of our plants are adapted to fire happening on a regular basis, but now it's been a really long time. You add to that uh, the extreme weather that we're seeing right now, uh, with 50 to 60 mile per hour winds or sometimes even higher, extremely low humidities and uh, you, you end up with this situation. And so um, it's, it's something that we've known was coming, but um, we couldn't do enough to stop it in time. Now, the fires are still uncontained and in some cases, uh, some fires have even joined together. Can you tell us how difficult it is to contain these fires and how some of the fires were able to join together? Yeah, right now there aren't enough resources and the resources that we do have are largely focused on saving lives as a priority. And and with these fires burning so close to these urban areas, that's really the focus. There's so many people to evacuate to make sure that they're okay and that they're safe and then trying to provide for all those people who have been evacuated that the resources are stuck on that. And so the resources um, are all focused on that and aren't able to actually focus on stopping the fires. The best they can do right now is try to slow them down and keep them from entering the areas that are populated. Um, over time, and as the, the weather kind of dies down a little bit, that, that will change and they'll be able to focus on actual suppression all the way around them. Um, but in the meantime, they're, they're burning together. Experts say October is one of the deadliest, month, deadliest months when it comes to wildfires burning in California. But is there any way that these fires could have been prevented? Uh, I'd say if we, over the last hundred years, had been doing mechanical treatments and prescribed burns on a regular basis across our landscapes on a landscape level, then this would not necessarily have happened. And and I hope that once the smoke clears and as we move forward toward the future, we can actually implement that active land management and prevent this from happening again. As it pertains to the short-term priorities, what are fire and medical crews focusing on right now? really focusing on saving people and protecting human life um, and human property to some extent, but human life is the priority. Um, these fires are burning toward multiple cities. Uh, they've been able to contain the part of a fire that was burning toward Calistoga. They're evacuating parts of Sonoma at this point and will be trying to prevent it from burning through Sonoma, um, as well as a, a few other cities throughout the region. And so that's really where all the focus is right now. Once these fires are finally contained, what will be the long-term priorities for Northern California when it comes to recovery? There's going to have to be quite a lot of effort, of course, on, on rebuilding um, communities and homes, but also stabilizing the landscapes where the fires have burned because of this extreme weather and the heavy fuel loading. Um, there's The fire burned really severe in certain areas, so we'll have to be taking work to prevent landslides over the coming winter. Um, and then over the long term, uh, working to kind of plan landscape level strategies for maintaining a, a more balanced and fire resilient landscape in the face of climate change. All right. Thank you so much, Sasha. That was fire ecologist at Audubon Canyon Ranch, Sasha Berlman. Thank you so much. Thank you.